Hi, it's Ofu for some more story about the Ragnarok Online Mobile Eternal Love in the Sea Surfer. In the previous videos, we already review about um, the first one is the Lightbringer Beholder, the second one is the Hela Beholder, and now it's the time for the third one, the Begator Beholder. If you already saw um, in the past few days or past few ma uh, weeks, I already played it for one or two times and then in the video we will see about why the Baketer Beholder is one of the Beholder that you can choose. So without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> from the skills okay um in the past in the last patch there is um a huge huge um huge buff for the begetter and there is one big buff very big buff that make him the begetter to be a very very um good option as a beholder which is this one Oh sorry, which is this one, the third line. So in this room, the third line, um, this one will grant all the uh, uh, the all all, all homunculus will not die. So why this part is very very interesting and very very good as a uh, begetter um, because of this skill, the health link, health link. Um, as the um, as the description said that within 30 seconds the, the health link will transfer 50% of the damage received from the genetic into the homunculus so what it means that uh, before before the upgrade on the rune means that um, if you receive a lot of damage and then um, it can make your homunculus die very easy because your homunculus usually is very squishy because it has it has a very little HP and then um, usually it's also if like um, if enemy using the AOE skill your homunculus is easy to die but now with the homunculus being immortal uh, this skill is very good because even if your homunculus only have one HP left your damage is still shared to that one so this is very very big so. This is the biggest reasons why um, I started to research about the Begator uh, Beholder. So, uh, the, uh, what makes the Begator Beholder so tanky? There is a two part. The first one is this one because this one is a 50% final damage reduction, and the second one is this one. Uh, this one. With every health plan summon, the begetter take 15% less damage. And as you know, the health plan the maximum is three, because uh, one from the uh, one from the skills and from the rune. So it means that if you summon three health plans, you will take 45% less damage from this one. So if you add 45% with the 50%, well, it's not the net, it's not 95%. Like the the calculation is slightly different, but uh, at the end of the day, probably you will have a final damage reduction of 70 to 80 percent, more or less. So, which is very, very crazy. And the other part is um, there is another buff also for the begetter, which is this one, the health and rune. Uh, which one? This one? No. This one. The third line. It it can make um, you can is a uh, summon maximum. Help plan when you so you be, before before this patch before this buff. Um, if you want to summon three help plans, you need to summon it three times. But now with this rune, you only summon it once, and you will get three help plan at once. So it will be very crazy, right? Yeah, that's the two part of the um, of the of the tanky or survivability skill, which is very very crazy because, as you know. <laughs> Uh, the health plan needs to be removed. If it's not removed, you will get um, you will get 45% final damage reduction. And mind you, that because in this meta there is no gunslinger, so there is like very less um, very less uh, skills that can remove this health plan. The first one is the LP from the 
from the CM. The second one is the Thanatos second skill. So usually when I'm playing Begetter, I put my health pen further back. So even though like I'm using um, even though I'm using this rune, the one that um, can make enemies snare. This one, sorry, this one can trigger a thorn trap. Thorn trap is um, the skill that can snare the enemy. This one can trigger the thorn trap. But because of um, this passive, I usually put my health pens further back, so the enemy cannot remove my health pen. So I can be very very tanky. So that's the the really really good part of the uh, of this two. And the other part is I have a fine armor that can. Um, increase the reflection and we will talk about it later so yeah that's the two skills and then the the other skill is this one this one is quite um i can say it's quite op because the hills is actually very good as you know that the hills uh, um comes from here the sp poison cast and then the sp poison cast and the 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 hill is very big because the things is you on no you not only restoring your HP but you also restoring your SP as well. So as you know that in the in the soul binder meta usually you will sometimes lose a lot of SP but with this um, because the SP uh, the the this because it's the mixed poison cast doesn't require any SP as you see there is no SP left even though with if you have a zero SP you can still cast it so uh, for example you you your mana is all gone and you just cast this and then suddenly you will get your mana back this is quite good and the hill is quite big as well it can reach like 100 to 200k inside of the MP map yeah this is the first skill second skill and the third skill if you if you see this one is the um is the skill from the homunculus as you know that Begetter can summon four for homunculus which is Liv, Amister, Vanil, Mert, and Eleanor um so both uh, all of four have the like several special skills that you can use as a Begetter the first one is the tinder breaker from the Eleanor Second one is photosynthesis from me, bloodlust is from Amister, and then magic devour from the final nerd. Why I choose these two? First, because this one is super OP, the magic devour. Devour. As you know that um, the magic devour is um, get some buff before it only makes you immune from the free spectral sleep, but now in the last patch it buff because it removes all the abnormal status and negative effect it means all of the debuff for example you get the spell break or you get the mark of death or any debuff that you get from the enemy you just cast the skill and then and then you will be immune from all of those think about like this is like a remove buff for yourself as a CM, you cannot remove both yourself, right? You can only remove both your enemy or your friends, but this one can remove both yourself, which is quite quite crazy because, like, say you wanna go uh, to the middle, there is a lot of time field, there is a lot of space field, there's a lot of like a lot of things. Like, for example, can make you sleep, can make you freeze, can make you petty fry, petty fry, whatever. You just cast the skill, and then you will be immune for, for all those for about 5 seconds yeah for about more or less 5 seconds and then the cut the cooldown is 10 seconds and this cooldown can be reduced so like say if you use the cooldown reduction set it can be like 8 seconds or something yeah this is very good and the 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 other skill why i choose leaf is because this the photosynthesis because um, you can heal to the maximum sp suddenly all of all of the sudden like for example your sp is like or in the red bar, like for example, your HP is less than 20% or 10%, you can cast this skill and then suddenly your HP full. And mind you, this is not heal, this is a restore all HP. So, um, so some things like Dead Soul or the Cure Barrier cannot um, cannot cancel this skill because this is a restore. So it's, so it's really, really good. And the other part, um, Leaf, can give you a lot of things. For she can heal you, 
she can give uh, she can resurrect and she can give um, some things like Kairi more or less and this resurrect is particularly very important before begetter is very bad because leaf is quite easy to die but now with with it um, being immortal she can be your revival especially in a map 3 even though like the skill cooldown is very high but it still be very useful and then the other part is the final mirror the bio explosion is very very painful you can try it by yourself this is because the problem with the bio explosion is it's stackable and it's aoe it's like think about like a cm bomb but it's stackable so you uh, this final build can put a lot of bomb into the enemy stacking so yeah that's that's why i choose to but the other part is if if you want to consider using the amistir the thing is this one the wild clamor the wild clamor the good thing about but about amistir is it can taunt the enemy and then the town is like quite annoying as well because uh, amistir can chase your can chase the enemy everywhere and then every three seconds he uh, he will try to taunt you for one for about one second more or less then the other part is he can he can stun the enemy as well but the thing uh, um, the, the thing is um, I still prefer leave photosynthesis and um, final mirror magic devour that's the things yeah and then the scale on the fourth the fourth skill in the first bar is the Tabu Fuse. Tabu Fuse is um, our the homunculus merge where you can like increase the like for example if you merge with Leaf your HP will be increased by 20% so on and so forth. There's um, a lot of things but the the thing is um, you will get another final damage reduction you see here seven percent so think about like you get 50 percent final damage reduction from here you get 45 percent final damage reduction from here and you get another seven percent of your final damage reduction this makes the 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 baguetter is super tanky i could say that actually actually baguetter is tankier than hella and uh and the light bringer and even the cm because of this a lot of final damage reduction and then um he can self-sufficient with this uh, hp and hp heals and then it has a magic devour that can rip off yourself and also it has another photosynthesis that can heal you so like a lot of survivability skills a lot of like survivability utility skills and the best part about bagetter is he also can control the enemy like a CM. What is the control part? The, the the biggest part is actually this one. The Mandragora holding is very annoying because um there is two parts of the skills. The first one is the manual Mandragora where where when you cast it um it will be some things like one time only and the another part is the one that you can summon a Mandragora a mutant Mandragora where this mutant mandragora will will cast a mandragora holding once every three seconds to the to the enemy within four meters think about this is like a time field even though like time field is up for all time for 30 seconds but this mutant mandragora even though it only lasts for 18 seconds but it can has you can cast too so like think about even though you have a mini time field that only um lasts for 18 seconds but the best part is you can have to right <laughs> and um and i could say that mandragora holding actually is more annoying than time field time field is um even though time field is 2.5 cast delay increase and then 5.5 second FCT even though like the time field is better in the terms of controlling the FCT and the cast delay but mind you that first the EN, the EN, ENT is reduced by 150 and another one the max SP also reduces by 50% why ENT is very important 
if you reduce the enemy ENT by 150 first you can control the enemy AM quite easy and uh, you can control the enemy Thanatos quite easy as well as you know that um, Thanatos requires a lot of MATK for for his skills so if you reduce the in his base MATK will be reduced quite a lot and then thus it will reducing his damage by far as well you can try it by yourself you can try it to your um, friendly Thanatos and then try to cast it to him and then check the, the damage different and also another part about it is the enemy mana pool will be very very low I mean very very small smaller than usual so it's very easy to remove uh, his mana using the soul binder so if you can see that um, if you know that if you cast the mandragora holding to the enemy and then the enemy got a uh, soul from the soul binder even one hit from the help then can remove all of his mana forever because help plan also not only help plan can um, deal damage the other part is it can bleed the damage as well or even the damage from um, from the final mid is enough to remove the SP so yeah this is the best part you can control the enemy using the mini time field which is the mandragora holding and then you can actually have two to time field and one of the the one that you manually cast the other part is the crazy bit where you can remove some of the field like for example LP, light shield, even the light shield or or any anything that here but the most important part is only two which is light shield and LP probably it's a safety wall as well and then um, the thing is also this one have a chance to remove to gain effects like the remove of the enemy but the, it's a mini one but probably you don't really want to try this much because the chance is not that high but the best part is like if you f want to be a roamer and then you see the enemy saying casting on the light shield and then try to um, block the enemy tan block your Thanatos using the light shield you can just use this one but this is not that important as but if you face another uh, another uh, begetter this is very important because it can remove the health and can remove the mandragora and so on so yep. Then um, I try to put the Gen Destroyer here, which is um, quite big as well because it reduces their strength, Agi, ENT, Dex, and Luck by 50 each. This is like this is like quite big as well, especially like um, if you are facing a Thanatos that using either the Zenubia skill, uh, the Zenubia card, or he's using the magic balloon where um, all of the stats need to be at least 159 and so on and so forth you reduce this one and then suddenly the uh, his skill damage increase will be reduced by 10% or, or more probably yeah so this is quite good but the problem with this one is the cooldown is 24 seconds so sometimes I feel like should I use this or not I don't know but I just put this one because I don't know other skill I can put and uh, this is my skill build um, the first one is not that much important except these three and then the second one the one that you really need, you really need to put this one this one this one this one this one the other so fine and then um this two is very important and then this is very important as well the other is like you can have any um, some people want to have the destruction thing so um, if you're like for example help plan attacking the enemy your help plan can destroy their um, their equip but as you know that when facing the begetter usually people <laughs> just use the excel view so sometimes I feel like this is a bit useless for me to use it and then the last part I'm using this part yeah and then on my prepare for elite I'm using the hiding lot exclamation holding is very important because you need to have this one up 24 hour don't forget that if you get remove buff or you get anything just make sure that you have always have this because without this your your you will be very squishy and I have the fine armor I have the home course repair and, and, and the wind walk. okay um, 
now to the equip so, uh, usually the, uh, this is my equip um, this is a standard usual equip but sometimes in the middle of the game I um, using this one for the SP build sometimes but as you know that Vegeta doesn't really need use the SP, uh, use the SP build so you just switch this one if I want to have one more cooldown but usually either using the Marine Soul Bulwark or the Historical Venus depends on the enemy that I want to be face usually it's a Thanatos so I'm using the medium size reduction is quite nice as well as for the Oracle Mirror um, in the back uh, usually I'm using this if I want to face the Metanatos but if I want to uh, if I lacking some uh, some resistance like for example freeze or whatever I just use this and the, in the and also in the offensive mirror I don't know whether I should use this this one or this one but anything is fine because I think it won't affect you that much yes and then for the leak skill I try to use um, to survive and the king of chaos 3 to get the four status resist or sometimes I want to get the abnormal status resist because the getter is really dependent on the skill cooldown some people try to use um, this combat provision 4 without any king of chaos because they rely heavily on the magic devour because the combat provision 4 make your magic devour will be on the 8 second skill cooldown which is quite nice uh, but yeah but I prefer still prefer KLC and the rest one this one um, and as for the stats as for the stats for sure is max fit agility why agility because um, there is if you want to use a rune that there is a rune that can turn your agility to um, your HP if I'm not mistaken this one this is quite nice because like for example if you have 3 300 agility then suddenly you can have um 300 is uh, 30,000 bitch HP more it can convert to um 300 to 4 to 400k HP inside yeah uh, and then dress is in and some decks but I don't know like I just feel like just put some things in fit and the rest is okay I don't know and then um, as for the rune um, I first the f most important one is void summon as I told you before this one is very um, very staple the another one is um, this one because without this one to summon a uh, help that you need to cast three times which is a waste of time and then the another one uh this one either like good or not but the thing is um i still prefer this one over this one because at the end of the day uh taboo fusion um the the perfect taboo fusion is very good because um it it gives more physical damage reduction oh no the final damage reduction and then the other part is you can have another max SP when the Tabu Fusion uh, you get Tabu Fusion and the other part is crazy bit as you know that the base um, the best chance of clearing personal buff is 20% with this you can get like maximum 40% but I don't know probably you can um, remove that for this one but yeah anything is fine and then this one is good as well so force the enemy either to use Edga or the Dog KB because if not he will get snare easily and then this one is quite important which is um, the third line as well uh, the third line third one is the one of the most important part but uh, I cannot get it <laughs> it can turn your armor into fire and then you can reflect blah 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 it's quite good and as you know that um, another another interesting thing about the getter is it has um, a built-in uh, max potential maximum 10% of physical armor reflection so if you want to try to play a reflect build you can also play it because this one is like for example I have 
8.9 and then you use the you can use the death get cap for a 20% reflect which is already almost 30% and then you add the high orc you get on you you already got 40% yeah okay i think yeah that's all from the beater which is um as you know that is pretty fun to play pretty fun to build and if you have any questions about Pegeta just put it in the comment and then um, I will try my best to uh, to answer it so that's it thank you for listening and uh, stay tuned for my next video bye bye